right, so here we have the full experimental setup. We have the Helm Helmholtz coils surrounding the cathode ray tube, uh, which you can see the electrons are being shot out of the gun towards the right, and they're illuminating the gas inside there. This is the high voltage power supply, which is powering up that electron gun and accelerating them to high speeds. And then over here, we have the current source, which is powering current to the coils that wrap around. And those coils then can exert a magnetic field on the uh, electrons and change their path. So let's see what happens as we turn up the current. So all of a sudden, it starts bending. Right? Instead of traveling a straight line, the magnetic field is able to bend the path of the electrons into a circle. So I can keep turning it up and tighten that circle. So this is larger and larger currents. We're now up to 14 or 2.3 amps in a really tight circle. And I can turn the current back down and the circle gets bigger. Now we're around 1.4 amps. I'm looking in here to read the values. You have to carefully line up the beam with the reflection of the beam seen in the mirrored ruler. So this is lining up that left edge, and then you can line up the right edge so where they just line up. And that's how you would get an accurate reading of the diameter of this circle. So there you have it in a nutshell electrons moving and being acted on by this magnetic field. Super cool.